piety and lechery, loneliness and celebration, ecstatic climaxes, religion, sex and fireworks. From start to finish, Nausicaa is a chapter of contrasts. We're back on Sandy Mount Strand. Earlier on, Stephen was here, accompanied by his high-minded thoughts. Now, the focus is on a woman with romance on her mind and a man staring at her with lust in his eyes. Gertie McDowell watches children make sandcastles on the shore, but her thoughts are elsewhere. Overtaken with romantic whimsy, Gertie's fantasies of love and amorous trysts have tumbled straight from the pages of trashy magazines and cheap romance novels. A mysterious and dark stranger stands some distance away. Only it's not a stranger, it's Bloom. He's eyeing Gertie, Joyce puts it, as a snake eyes its prey. Her woman's instinct told her that she had raised the devil in him. Whether it was the devil or not, the stranger has something raised and a furtive hand down his trousers. The prayers of the congregation from the nearby Star of the Sea Church are fervent and intense. Fireworks explode overhead and Bloom brings himself to climax. A rocket sprang and blind shot blank and oh, the Roman candle burst and it was like a sigh of oh. In his post-orgasmic reverie, her adultery plagues Bloom and even an illicit sexual act cannot stop him dwelling on life and love and how all of this is just a voyage round your own little world. Whatever the time of day, whatever the weather, Sandy Mount Strand keeps the secrets of those who visit it.